Well, the upcoming Broadway season at Shea's Performing Arts Center, now another show stopper. This year, it features the return of Hamilton. And there are several other well-known productions, including Some Like It Hot, The Lion King, and The Wiz. Right now, we are joined by Brian Higgins, president and CEO of Shea's. Brian, thank you so much for coming in. Great to be with you, Jordan. Dave? So before we talk about this really exciting yeah. lineup, this is your first couple of uh, weeks as the new role. How's the transition been from congressman to uh, CEO and president? From the halls of Congress to the halls of Shea's. Shea's is a great place. <laughs> It's magical. People love it. Uh, the, the magic is is the interaction with the audience and the performers, um, and it's just been really, really. Uh, imp it's been impressive, and people in this community love Shays. They love Broadway. Uh, they love uh, Les Mis. Last week, we had uh, we had six days, eight performances. 24,000 people coming into downtown Buffalo to the theater district and to Shays had an economic impact of over $4 million. That is huge. Uh, so we're very excited about the next season. Eight shows uh, have been scheduled. Uh, we anticipate that we're going to get similar crowds. Uh, we have 16,500 season ticket subscribers. Uh, they love the institution. They love the shows that Shays is offering. And we are... Broadway's connection to Buffalo, yep. and that's uh, Shays, and we're going to aggressive market, ag aggressive, uh, aggressively market uh, into Canada to get that Canadian audience to the Shays as well. We were lucky enough to attend the finale of uh, Les Mis on Sunday, and there is just something about being in a packed theater, especially after the pandemic and everything, right? But yeah. being in a packed theater, even at intermission, hearing people, the buzz, they're talking about the actors and actresses and the music and the beauty and the architecture. There's so much good energy that it's got to be a big hurrah going out of a place like Les Mis right into the big unveil of a new Broadway season with some huge, huge acts. Talk about bringing that energy and continuing it into the fall. Well, it's about sustaining it. Yeah. And we want to give what uh, people are looking for uh, relative to the Broadway series. Uh, Broadway is uh, very, very popular. Yeah. And to be able to be the one of the primary uh, touring venues in all of America uh, because of what we did with the stage many years ago. The width of the stage is about 60 feet. It's the widest of any stage in America. Uh, all the loading docks, all the infrastructure that had to be done. We have positioned Buffalo. There was a time 30 years ago where most of the major touring productions went to Toronto. Mm -hmm. That's reversed now. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, Canadians are going to be coming into Shays. Uh, Western New Yorkers are coming into Shays. Uh, we will see probably 325,000 people this year. Um, and we have three venues. We have the, the traditional theater, the Wonder Theater. Uh, we have the Shays Smith, and we have uh, 710, which used to be the Studio Arena. So great level of excitement, great entertainment. Uh, and as I said, there's a multiplier effect economically. When people come in, they're carrying money with them. It's not only their tickets, but it's the restaurants, it's the bars, it's all those other things that make uh, or help make uh, the downtown uh, economy very vibrant. And it certainly helps when you have a really awesome yeah. lineup, right? Yeah. Of course, you have the shows people love, Hamilton, Lion King, but then there's some other shows they may not have yeah. seen, Back to the Future, the musical, yeah. and Juliet. Talk about that, having a lineup that's really for everyone. Well, we have a partner uh, who is a producer uh, in Broadway, uh, Albert Nuccellano, and he is uh, a major part in uh, putting together the series. He sees these shows first. Right now, uh, there are in April, in, in, in uh, March and April, there are 18 new shows starting on Broadway. They won't all make it, but we have, you know, a, a, a presence there to see, you know, to scout. What, yeah. what shows are people going to want to see in Buffalo? And we go after those shows, create a Broadway package, bring them to Buffalo, and the rest is magic. How do you think you attract more season ticket holders. Is it with what you're doing now, unveiling a fantastic lineup that has the bells and whistles that are really gonna attract people? Is it the add-on of that Hamilton? Or is it, again, bringing stuff like we're seeing here on the screen, the big productions like Lion King? It's an eclectic mix, yeah. you know, and, and there's a lot in there for a lot of different audience and their, their tastes. Um, but the theater, you know, it's, it's, it's about opening and closings. It's about the poets and the punks. It's about the, the, the destination and the journey. It's about the magic and the tragic. And when a theater delves into the deep recesses of the soul, 
um, and sees good and bad, but the one thing theater never destroys is hope. Yeah. And people, in the end, want to go to the theater to be inspired. And they're inspired by, and a lot of these, you know, keep in mind, Hamilton started with a serious book, uh, Ron Chernow, uh, Lynn manuel uh, Miranda, was vacationing in Mexico with this book, serious, you know, uh, biography of, of Alexander Hamilton, and he said he saw hip hop lyrics jumping off the, the pages. So that's what you refer to as a page to stage. So the adaptation from a beautiful book, a serious historical book, to a movie or a, 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 a play, a, a musical that is is talking about America then through the eyes, the voices of America today. And that's the magic. If you want to teach your kids empathy, you know, get them involved in the theater. And uh, that's what it requires. And, and, you know, I'm trying to find my evolutionary roots <laughs> from democracy to theater. But right? they, were, they were born in the same place at the same time in 6th century BC in Athens, Greece. And, uh, and the theater is the essential art form of democracy. And so there's a lot to learn. Uh, there's, you know, you can get as deep as you want, or you can just sit back and enjoy the show and the beauty uh, the aesthetics of, of the Shays uh, Theater. Love it. And it instills hope. So mm. wonderful. It is good. But, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Brian, thank you so much thank for you, taking Jordan. the time. Congrats yeah. on a great season. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for having us. And if any point you missed this interview, it'll, of course, be on our website with the full lineup of next season down at Shays. It's all there. WIVB.com. Chief Meteorologist Todd Santos standing.